of these high dollar variants, the company can't afford to abandon the heart of the market. The Sportage you see here is the one that really matters, a mid-level X model, powered by a naturally aspirated 2.4 liter inline 4. LX and X models, both of which come standard with this engine, make up a majority of Sportage sales and face off more directly against the Honda CRV and the Toyota RAV4, among many others. Not so new under the hood. The Sportage is all new for 2017, but the base powertrain tested here is mostly carried over from its predecessor. Some tuning differences result in slightly better fuel economy, but the engine's 181 horsepower and 175 lbft of torque are within a hair of the previous version's 180 horsepower and 176 lbft. Unsurprisingly, this Sportage is significantly slower than its turbocharged sibling, which has 59 more horsepower and an additional 85 lbft of torque. The X's 0 to 60 mph time is 1.9 seconds behind that of the SX Turbo, at 8.6 seconds, its quarter mile lags by January 7 seconds, and its top speed governor kicks in 21 miles per hour earlier, at 114 miles per hour. Admittedly, that turbocharged Sportage we tested sent torque to the front wheels only, while this X model was equipped with all wheel drive, $1,500. View 46 photos. Still, many of the Sportage's all wheel drive competitors are quicker, too, with the Honda CRV, the Toyota RAV4, the Mazda CX5, and the 1.6 liter turbocharged Hyundai Tucson, which is otherwise mechanically related to the Sportage, all beating the Kia in the sprint to 60 mph. That's disappointing when you consider that the Sportage gets only 25 mpg in the EPA's highway cycle, while the CRV, CX5, and 1.6T Tucson score 30 or 31 mpg in the same test. The Kia's 2.4 liter four cylinder isn't the most refined piece, either, with a relatively gritty texture and some buzziness in the upper rev ranges. We much prefer the 1.6 liter turbocharged 4 that can be found in the Tucson, which delivers smooth and tractable power with strong mid-range punch, the naturally aspirated 2.4 is not available in the Hyundai. But while we noticed some lurching and odd behavior from the Tucson's dual-clutch automatic transmission, we didn't find much to fault with the Sportage's conventional 6-speed automatic, which shifts smoothly and is rarely caught.